Hey, welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia, your host. Today we're doing an aura cleansing. So today we're going to talk about aura cleansing. You've probably heard the term aura before in layman's terms, but today we're going to talk about what that means energetically and how we can cleanse and clear our auras. We've talked about chakras, which are energy centers inside the body that have different vibrational qualities and relate to different aspects of our being. We also have an aura, which is the energy surrounding us, kind of like a globe of energy around us and actually comes from within. What the energy, what the chakras are projecting creates energy that surrounds us, as in the aura. So our auras are in contact with other people. We can sometimes sense other people's auras without even consciously being aware or being able to see them. And so we're all kind of creating projections of energy outside of us and interacting with the world with our auras. And we have control over what we're projecting from within. When we cleanse and clear our chakras, we tend to cleanse and clear what we're projecting out through our auras. And today we're going to specifically focus on cleaning up our auras because as we're going out in the world and we're connecting with other people and we're sitting in traffic or we're discussing some heated conversation with someone, we're picking up pieces of energy from all around us and the aura can get kind of cluttered and heavy if we don't clean and clear it. So we're going to do an exercise today specifically to work on cleansing the aura. And you should feel light, free, present, and a little bit just more clean, more clear with your energy after we do this exercise. So we'll start in a, sit a seated position. I like to be cross-legged with my hips propped up using a pillow. And if this is uncomfortable for you with your hips, then sit in a chair. But we all want to have tall spines and our shoulders relaxing. And before we even envision our auras, we're going to get grounded. So imagine that there's a channel of energy connecting deep down to the center of the earth, flowing out from the base of your spine. And it's a continual, infinite flow of grounding energy out through you down to the center of the earth. You can almost feel like a magnetic pull drawing some of your energy down to the ground. And it's important to always feel grounded with this energy because it helps us kind of feel safe and centered. Grounded in time and space in this reality. So just close your eyes, sense an energy channel flowing out through the base of the spine, and it just infinitely grounds you down to the center of the earth. Just imagine it, even if you can't sense it, just envision it. See it happening and believe that it's there. Over time, you'll become more sensitive to these subtle energies, especially with practice. And once you feel really grounded, you have that grounding channel moving down through you, then we'll imagine our auras. So the aura is energy that's about an arm's length away from you in all directions. So above your head, an arm's length away, in front of you, behind you, to the sides, and below you, just envision a dome of light energy surrounding you. And it can be any color, any color you'd like to imagine. And at the edge of the aura is sort of a darker border of color, and within is like a lighter shade of that color. So there's a defined boundary around you. And below you, as your aura is projected around you in all directions, it connects with your grounding channel down below your hips. 
And you can use that grounding channel to clear out any stuck energy from your aura. So just envision that whatever color your aura is, it touches the grounding channel and the grounding channel becomes that color of light as well. So there's a connection made where you can then channel and funnel any stuck heavy or dark energy down to the grounding channel. So it can be pulled down to the earth where it's recycled and cleansed. So just envision that connection for a moment. And when you feel like your aura and your grounding channel are connected, we'll start to breathe with our auras. So we're going to imagine that as we inhale, we're sucking our aura in close to the body. So normally it's an arm's length away. As we inhale, we're going to pull the energy tight, tight toward us. And as we exhale, we're like filling it back up. So you can imagine it's like breathing in um, through a bag or something as you inhale. It sucks in toward you. As you exhale, it blows up like a balloon around you. And you can imagine that every time we're inhaling and we're drawing our energy closer to us, any of that stuck, dark energy is then going straight down through the grounding channel, down deep into the earth. And as you exhale and expand your aura again, it's cleaner and clearer every time we do this. So we're breathing it in and we're breathing it out. And it's like we're, we're filtering the energy of the aura by inhaling it, grounding out anything, any impurities in your energy, and exhaling and expanding it once more. And don't overthink it, you know, don't worry about what is it that you're clearing or cleansing. Just have a sort of sensory, just have an imagination about it. Just focus on the color, the light coming into you, grounding down, and then expanding back out as we exhale. So let's practice that a few times. Make sure your spine is nice and tall. Your hips are relaxed. Sense your grounding channel of energy and sense your aura around you. We'll take an inhale and imagine just drawing that energy close to your body all the way onto your skin in all directions. And exhaling, expanding the aura once more. And inhaling to draw your aura close to your skin, grounding anything out. And exhaling will expand the aura, getting cleaner and clearer every time. And we'll do this a few more times. Always maintaining an awareness of that grounding channel of the colors of light that are connected and the connection between the aura and the grounding channel. See that light being close in toward your body and then expanding. And remember, you always have control over your energy. And let's do this three more times, taking a deep inhale and drawing the energy close toward your skin, pull it in. Drop anything down that grounding channel and exhale, expand the aura arm's length away from you in all directions, two more times. And this last time, really imagine a clean and clear energy coming from you as you exhale. And exhale, expand. Good, and we're just going to hold this awareness of our aura connected to our grounding channel. Just imagine the light, colored light surrounding you with a defined border, a darker color that defines the edges, the boundaries of your aura, and a lighter air, a lighter color of that air inside the aura. 
And as you just envision this for a few more moments, I'm going to play my crystal bowl. Just relax and sink into this vision. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out the mouth with a sigh. Two more times, inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale, release completely out the mouth. Last time, big breath in. Release. Touch the palms together, thumbs against your heart, closing your eyes. Feeling connected to the energy surrounded by you. The energy within, the energy without. Knowing that you always maintain a connection to this energy and an ability to cleanse and clear it. To shift your energy. And to choose what energy you bring into the world. The light within me honors and recognizes the light within you. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. This was an aura cleansing, and I am Gia. This is Meditation Monday. I post weekly meditation videos on YouTube, and if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can um, get emails every time I post a video. And I also have an email list, which I'll post in the description. And you can get more info from me about workshops and teaching and a meditation CD that I just created. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.